Ladies and gentlemen, honorable ministers, let me welcome you this morning to Botswana. Education isn't a subject you can just brush aside. It is about the future of this continent. It is about the future of the world. But education needs enablers, and that's why IT is important. May I wish this conference to find success, to find the future in education, because it is education eventually that will liberate Africa. I thank you. There are two things that really stand out for me in this conference. The first is that the level of conversation is at a level where ministers, permanent secretaries of education, deputy directors, directors of ICT are able to interact and take deliberate action immediately. The second reason this conference is unique is because there is intense interaction between the ministers and the partners. Because uh, we believe strongly that uh, Huawei and with your cooperation, we can bring our technology and innovation into this region of the world. We believe that having that experience, that we can bring it into this side of the world, can make this world a lot better. We are here to talk to senior leaders from all across Africa, and uh, we talked about our smarter education strategy. Uh, I was impressed to hear that the, most of the senior leaders had a true vision of what they want to do to improve student outcome. It was great to have those discussions. Basically, it's a chance to meet the senior education representatives from eight countries in one room. Um, and you can do in two days what would take weeks to do, visiting each country one after the other. We've made some very good connections. We've made some interesting friends as well. And we've heard about some interesting projects which we will certainly take forward over the year to come. We will no doubt be implementing some of the innovative ideas that we've heard about. We'll be helping governments, ministries, uh, system leaders, leaders of institutions to take some of their ideas forward and translate them from theory into practice. As you know, the youth constitute a large population of Africa and it's very critical for us to be able to move the bulk of our, our continent forward in skills development. The Innovation Summit is the place to be to make sure that you're part of that development, you're part of that growth movement. Pearson has been at uh, this conference, I think, for the last two years, and we've all found it extremely useful to connect up with our clients and potential clients. It's great to have the opportunity to uh, meet up with government and uh, other stakeholders. We've made fast friends with a lot of people and uh, hope to join you again next year. Well, Intel has renewed its uh, education focus in general, so we've actually upped our ante. Uh, we've created a whole Intel education. Now, why here? The ministries of education and technology are all here. So we just spent two hours talking to 15 different people. All of them are interested in different portions of our programs. And a wonderful opportunity to do that and engage people who would take hours or even days to connect with otherwise. It has been absolutely amazing because you get to um, speak directly with people that otherwise would be very difficult to get to see. So here we've come to one venue and we get to see 20 odd delegations um, in the course of two days. So it has been a great advantage to be here. I feel this conference has done is it has brought to meetings what mass production has brought to the automotive industry. Uh, high quality meetings uh, in, in succession. Uh, I, for example, uh, in two days we have had about uh, 13 meetings that, I would, that would take me more than 13 weeks to otherwise have. So our goal in being here is to bring Africa together and meet with Ms. Education, understand the digital education initiatives that are happening across Africa and to see how Google can support those programs and uh, work collaboratively with different African countries.
Well, um, this is the third event, similar event we are participating as Oracle, and uh, we find it very useful to meet a number of customers from all across Africa, uh, understand their challenges, understand their priorities, and then talk to them, discuss with them, how can we help them. That's why we are here. Uh, I did go to Arab Rains in Jordan. I could feel the buzz of the place, the ability to be able to meet people who were wanting uh, this type of product or other people's types of products and things were happening. So when I decided to come to uh, Africa Brains, I thought I needed more than presence to be able to show off my lovely wares and get access to ministers of um, education in the countries that I wanted to target. So in total we've seen about 18, 18 potential clients, which is great. And in all our meetings it was just positive uh, feedback and just people wanting the service. So we found some of our potential clients who are looking at Botswana Post uh, sharing the best practices out there in Africa, outside the cloud services that we are offering. So not only was it great for us as a cloud seed, it was also great for Botswana Post. Uh, well, we're delighted to be here at Innovation Africa and what we've been doing is talking to various ministries of education about the services we provide, which is all about making sure students have the tools they need to study. We've met with uh, more than a dozen different ministries of education uh, and their representatives uh, and we've uh, had some really good follow-ups which we should be taking forward over the next few weeks. Um, because it's a good way for us to present our products, our two different companies, and uh, we really like the idea of the round tables in the afternoon where we can meet one-to-one -to, -one to the ministers or the faculty to the universities. And so this gives us a good opportunity to, to show what we can and what we have. It's been very productive for us. It's made some very good context, um, got an understanding of what the people, the challenges are, got the opportunity to tell them what we've got. So it's really, really positive, very good. We're here to meet policy makers and the people that are passionate about growing the, the youth of tomorrow and the, the educational environment in the variety of countries in Africa. And it's been a, an amazing opportunity to meet so many different people who are so passionate about it. I can sum it in one sentence. This is the best event ITG would participate in. The opportunity of meeting clients, vendors, technology providers is awesome. Definitely I would encourage all companies globally to come and take part and participate in the coming African Brains event.